I ask unanimous consent that the Senate Foreign Relations Committee be discharged from further consideration of SRES 150 and the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration. Without objection. The clerk will report. Senate Resolution 150 expressing the sense of the Senate that it is the policy of the United States to commemorate the Armenian genocide through official recognition and remembrance. Without objection, the Senate will proceed to the measure. Madam President, I further ask that the resolution be agreed to, the preamble be agreed to, and the motions to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Without objection. Madam President. The Senator from New Jersey. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, we have just passed uh, the Armenian Genocide Resolution Recognition, and it is fitting and appropriate that the Senate stands on the right side of history in doing so. It commemorates the truth of the Armenian Genocide. On Monday, we commemorated the International Day of Commemoration and Dignity of the Victims of the Crime of Genocide <clears throat> and of the Prevention of this Crime. The UN General Assembly established this Day of Remembrance to commemorate and honor the victims of genocide and to highlight efforts to combat and prevent genocide. Passing this resolution is a fitting tribute to this day of remembrance. Uh, I have come to the floor on various occasions to talk about the history of the Armenian genocide. Uh, an Armenian priest, Krikoris Balakian, recorded some of the massacres of innocent Armenians. Quote, he said, in Ankara and its surroundings only a couple hundred miles east of Constantinople, the killing was done with axes, cleavers, shovels, and pitchforks. It was like a slaughterhouse. Armenians were hacked to pieces. Infants were dashed on rocks before the eyes of their mothers. It was indescribable horror. Even when Armenians were supposedly deported, the conditions they were forced to live in made clear that Turkey's ultimate goal was to eliminate the Armenian people. A visitor to one Turkish city in October of 1915 wrote, Quote, the 16,000 deported Armenians who were living in the tents have been sent to Konya in cattle trucks at night while thousands of these unfortunate people without food or shelter shiver with cold. <clears throat> Those brutes who are supposed to be their guardians attacked them with clubs and pushed them towards the station. Women, children, and all men are packed together in the trucks. The men have to climb onto the top of the trucks in spite of this dreadful cold. Their cries are heartbreaking, but all in vain. Hunger, cold, and fatigue, together with the government's deeds of violence, soon achieved the extermination of the last remnant of the Armenian people. Henry Morgenthau, the U.S. ambassador to Turkey from 1913 to 19, uh, 1916, understood fell full well what was transpiring. He left his post in early 1916 because, as he later recalled, uh, recalled, quote, my failure to stop the destruction of the Armenians had made Turkey, for me, a place of horror. Madam President, Pre American diplomats like Henry Morgenthau were on the ground in Turkey, and they made heroic efforts to help the Armenian people. But here in Washington at the time, no one did anything in the face of this heinous crime. As former UN Ambassador Samantha Power wrote in her Pulitzer Prize-winning book, A Problem from Hell, America's non-response to the Turkish horrors established patterns that would be repeated. As my colleague from Texas, my co-sponsor, who has been such a stalwart advocate with me, has very often noted this is the first genocide to be recorded in the century. We know all too well the horrors that would be repeated later in the 20th century with the Holocaust and other genocides around the world. So here in the Senate today, we break those patterns. We join the House who voted to do so by passing a resolution affirming the facts of the genocide, 405 to 11. Today, the Senate shows the same resolve. I'm deeply grateful to Senator Cruz for his stalwart leadership on this issue, to the 27 other senators from both parties who have co-sponsored the resolution and demonstrated their commitment to the truth, and the truth is finally will set us free. I am thankful that this resolution has passed at a time in which there are still survivors of the genocide. <clears throat> Who 
will be able to see that the Senate acknowledges one thing. With that, Madam President, <clears throat> I yield the floor.